If you're looking at over 3 million containers at the Port of Savannah alone going inbound and outbound, so that's 6 million possible containers that could be loaded with something bad for the public. In Savannah, every day is game day. The threats are just too large for it not to be. We have millions of containers coming in and out of the country. We have our targeters top notch targeting those high risk containers. We have our scanning team looking for those anomalies. We have our warehouse team tearing everything apart, doing the best they can to ensure the safety of our country while facilitating legitimate trade and travel. So right now in Savannah, we have subject matter experts from different ports around the East Coast. They helped us target containers that were looked at as high risk. And with the extra officer power, we're able to do not just more targets, but more physical inspections, and that will result in more seizures. And most importantly, we're able to share that information from each other's ports to have better targets going forward. The collaboration between uh, the Georgia Auto Theft Intelligence Council and the Customs Border Protection Agents was extremely important. We learned things here at the port that we didn't know. The agents seemed to learn from us as well. Uh, oftentimes, the theft trends that are occurring in major cities such as Atlanta often dictate the trends seen at the port for exports. So when these two come together, uh, it better equips the agents here at the port to know what to look for and to intercept these stolen vehicles. Well, we've been seeing a lot of these outbound car seizures are stemming from uh, the major cities. So we're seeing Atlanta, we're seeing Baltimore, New York City. These cars might be stolen in New York or Baltimore, but they're still getting shipped out of Savannah. They're coming on rail, they're coming coastwise on a ship, and so it's very important that we all work together on the East Coast to target this threat. And then when you're looking at those outbound inspections, it's very important that you look at all threats. You're looking for narcotics, weapons, money laundering, and also vehicles. But the good thing is when you find those outbound vehicles, a lot of times they are linked to other crimes such as money laundering and narcotics. The flow of traffic is the narcotics come into the country and that money goes out. And a lot of times it goes out in the form of cars that could be sold overseas. And you also find a lot of stolen cars that are linked to other transnational organizations that are doing identity theft, credit card theft, fake titles, and they're able to ship these cars out and fund their operations. So by stopping these vehicles, we're defunding these transnational organizations. We have a great working relationship with CBP and their federal partners. And that allows us to be a hub of information sharing with local and state agencies. The relationship with CBP comes from CBP's mission and protect the people of the United States and our mission to protect our community here at the Georgia Ports Authority. And we work together sharing information, helping the victims of these stolen commodities. They're being shipped out of the United States, stolen from American citizens and trying to get those back to them. And at the same time, we want to go after the people responsible. So the information collected and analyzed together, we get that information to Homeland Security, uh, BIS, FBI, and prosecutorial agencies to help them solve these cases and put the people behind bars who are responsible for these thefts. This operation was a big success. We already found three stolen vehicles. In addition to that, we found a magazine and some shotgun shells that were going overseas. The next step with those seizures, we have our team working on trying to connect the targets, try to find more seizures based off criteria from the seizures. From there, we're gonna find additional shipments. We already found five others that are linked to that prior seizure, and we're gonna to try to turn that over for a prosecution.